a 58-year-old male comes to the office after his bridge fails. Check out the full case today on The Open Reduction. Welcome to The Open Reduction, your channel covering all topics oral and maxillofacial surgery. I'm Dr. Tom Bolton, and today we're reviewing a case that incorporates extractions and external sinus lift and dental implants. This patient is a 58-year-old male who had a bridge in his right posterior maxilla. The bridge extended from the right second molar, tooth number two, to the canine, with two, four, and six as the abutments, and three and five as the pontics. Unfortunately, this bridge failed, and the crowns on teeth two, four, and six are no longer present. These teeth were deemed unrestorable by his dentist, so he was referred to my office for treatment. This case presents a few challenges. His sinus is pneumatized, meaning it has expanded where tooth number three used to be. He only has three millimeters of bone height in this area, so I'm unable to place an implant as it currently stands. The roots of teeth numbers two and four are intimately associated with the sinus floor, so there's a risk of a perforation. He has an implant at site number seven, which is solid. I discussed this case with his restoring dentist, and we agreed tooth number two does not need to be replaced because it is unopposed. The plan is to create a new bridge using implants. This will be a five unit bridge because it will incorporate five teeth. We will use the implant at number seven and I will place two additional implants at sites three and five. This way, the new implant supported bridge will include teeth three, four, five, six, and seven, and it will have three implants supporting it. The number five area is not a problem because there is enough native bone there to place an implant. However, the number three area will require an external sinus lift. The plan is to remove teeth two, four, and six, perform a sinus lift using a Caldwell Luck approach, place implants at sites three and five, graft the sinus, and then bury the implants. I will uncover the implants four months later, at which point he'll return to his restoring dentist and have a new bridge made. The patient elected to undergo this procedure with local anesthesia. After the area is numb, I make a full thickness incision with a vertical release distal to number two and carry it through all the teeth I will extract. I also create a vertical release mesial to tooth number six. Next, I remove the teeth. I then create a lateral window to access the sinus. I gently elevate the sinus membrane using curettes. Once the sinus is elevated, I place a collagen membrane to help support it. If you are a provider and want detailed step-by-step -step instruction on how to treatment plan and perform an external sinus lift like this one and an internal sinus lift, check out my website, theopenreduction.com, where I have an in-depth video series on how to perform these procedures. Now it's time to prep the bone for these implants.
I first place an implant at site number three. Next, I place the number five implant. Here are the threads of the number three implant within the sinus. I can see the implant did not violate the membrane. Now I pack the sinus with graft material. Finally, I close the incision. Here is some post-op imaging. The lateral CEF and AP radiographs confirm that the implants are parallel with each other and with the existing implant at site number seven. Here are some cross sections where we can see the implants are fully engaged in solid alveolar bone. The graft is here and there is no fluid in the sinus, which is usually a good confirmation that the membrane is intact. When we scroll through the axial cuts on the CT, we can see where the graft material begins and where the two implants are seated. I am very happy with how this looks and the patient had no issues during the healing period. I will place the abutments on these implants in four months time and then the restoring dentist I work with will create the bridge giving this patient five new permanent teeth. They will look great and he will have amazing function. Thanks so much for watching. Please click those like and subscribe buttons and check out my channel for tons of interesting OMFS cases just like this one. I'm Dr. Tom Bolton. I'll catch you next time on the Open Reduction.